All right, what's up everyone? Welcome to this video. It's been a few weeks again since I made my last video. Um, I've just been super busy with class. It's kind of like a full-time thing, so I don't have that much time free. And uh, usually I'll have lectures for like a few hours during the day and then I'll have to come home and do like homework. And then like the few hours that I do have free during the day, I'll probably go like play basketball or soccer or something like that. Um, but now that it's starting to cool down, it's uh, finally getting a little bit colder here. Um, it's definitely fall and then I think during the next few months it's going to get quite cold so I wanted to do a video today just about jackets that I'm going to be wearing during fall and winter just to give people ideas and things they can maybe find on eBay or things that they can look for and stuff like that. I think like 75% of these jackets I've gotten on eBay so if you're not an eBay shopper definitely start trying to look on eBay as long as you kind of scroll and know what to search for in the search bar you can find some pretty awesome deals and just like cool things that you don't really see that often. But yeah, I think I have like eight jackets here, so I'll go over these pretty quickly and then I'll throw some of them on or throw some photos in there of like how they look. But yeah, I'm definitely a colder weather kind of person. Um, I do like fall and winter and springtime um, when it's cool, but I definitely like having the sun out for longer, so there's a little bit of a dilemma there. But yeah, if I could have colder weather but still have the sun out, that'd be perfect. Um, but I think here, especially in San Francisco, once it starts cooling down a lot more, the sun is gonna start going down really early and it's gonna be definitely a rough time for uh, that portion of the year. But yeah, definitely excited to start wearing some of the jackets that I have. Um, this is maybe 60% of the jackets I have. I have a few other ones, but I thought these are like the main ones that I'm gonna be wearing during the fall and winter. So these are the ones I wanted to show. This is the first jacket that I wanted to show, and this is one that I've gotten very recently, but this is definitely a jacket I've kind of like had on my watch list on eBay throughout the years. Not the same exact jacket, but like different sellers will have the same jacket, and I'm always looking at it. It's just hard to find one that I want to pull the trigger on. They might have like stains and stuff like that. But yeah, this uh, jacket will have a weird price range on eBay. Um, you can see it from like 50 to $200 depending on the seller and I don't know. Um, but I got this for a pretty good deal. This is a really awesome Polo Ralph Lauren denim jacket and it has like a wool buffalo plaid lining on the inside and then the arms have like a quilted lining. This is a super awesome denim jacket. Got a corduroy collar on here. I just really like the lining. It's super warm and cozy. Has a bit of an oversized fit so I usually wear like a sweater or a hoodie underneath it, but it's just a nice cropped wide denim jacket that I uh, think has a lot of nice details. The next jacket is a goose down um, jacket that has like an interesting kind of cut. It has like these square quilted things on the front and the back and uh, it has like a little bit of cropped kind of vibe and has this like really interesting looking collar that you can fold down and gives it like a nice look. I got this on Etsy for like $20, I think. And I feel like this is the kind of jacket that you can see for pretty expensive if you buy one new. Um, so yeah, I'm super stoked on this. It has like a really cool, cool like just cut to it and uh, super cozy. So I can't wait to start wearing this more. All right, this next jacket is uh, a super heavy jacket. So my shoulder's kind of burning, just holding it up. But this is a jacket that I've wanted for a lot of years and I never really pulled the trigger on it because it's a pretty expensive jacket. And um, yeah, that's the main thing. It's a really expensive jacket and it's hard to find like a good deal. But I got this one on eBay for I'd say like 70% cheaper than retail, which is amazing. Um, I tried it on in store in Los Angeles at one point. So I knew that I was a size 42. Yeah, it's just a really nice shot. Perfecto leather jacket. This is like the OG leather jacket. It's got like a quilted lining on the inside. The arms have like a nice lining on them. I've worn it quite a few times already so far, so you can kind of see that the arms are breaking in a little bit. If you can get that on camera, there's kind of like some creases coming on there. Um, but yeah, this is definitely like my favorite jacket. This has always been a jacket I've really wanted. And uh, so stoked to have it because it's like really nice and just a jacket that's gonna last me a lifetime. All right, next jacket um, is a jacket I've probably shown before in a video or two. And it's just a Levi's Big E Troy blanket lined trucker jacket um, that I threw like a little shackle on the open button here. But yeah, not much to say about this. Just a really classic jacket. Super warm because it has this wool blanket lining. And uh, the, 
I don't know, this has a really nice color on it now since it's been uh, beat up a little bit, but it's definitely in really good condition still. So super stoked on this jacket. This is a jacket I love and probably will just keep for uh, forever. All right, next jacket is a jacket I think I've even made a whole video on before, but this is the uh, Telesin deck jacket in this like Japanese, I think it's like a 14 ounce denim. And uh, you can see that I've worn it quite a bit before. Um, I haven't broken it out in the last few months because it's just been too warm. But uh, last fall and winter, I was wearing this quite a bit. And uh, it's just a really easy jacket to throw on if you don't feel like thinking too much. It's cool, it's warm, it's comfy, and uh, looks good with everything really. And you can see on the arms and just like the body of the jacket is kind of broken into uh, my my uh, body, I guess. So yeah, just a really awesome jacket. Can't wait to keep wearing it. See how it looks as I keep kind of breaking it in over the next few months. And uh, yeah, just an awesome jacket. All right, I have three more jackets that I wanted to show here. Um, this next one is a Carhartt. I think I may have shown this in my previous video, but it's just a Carhartt denim jacket. This is the J08. Um, if you want to search up that model on eBay, you can find some similar ones. I don't really see the denim one that often, which is why I decided to get it. And it's got this nice blanket lining on the inside as well. As you can tell, I do like a lined jacket. That's uh, usually the like way I like to go. Um, but yeah, it's super cool, nice hoodie. Um, it's a super warm jacket, but if it is chilly, it's gonna need some layers on the inside. But it has like a pretty nice wide fit, so um, there's space for me to layer underneath here. But yeah, it's just a super cool jacket. All right, next jacket is another jacket that I'm pretty sure I showed on my previous video, but this is a jacket that I got at the Alameda Flea Market. Um, Alameda is just an area over the Bay Bridge here, nearby San Francisco. It's like 20 minute drive. Um, the flea market's definitely been getting really packed recently. The first time I went there was like two years ago, and uh, I think it was already starting to kind of gain hype, but I think it's a really awesome flea market. I love going there. It's only once a month, just like the Rose Bowl, but I've found quite a few really cool things there, aside from clothing, like I found this chair that I'm sitting on, um, and it was like a set of four. I found some like cool antiques and stuff, but uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the jacket, just this really nice, kind of like a, a work jacket vibe. It's uh, this like really nice forest green color. And uh, I think it was made for a department store worker because it has like the logo here. And then it's fully wool lined on the inside. It's like pretty heavy. I remember when I first picked this up, that's like what caught my attention immediately. Um, yeah, it's got the worker here, Robert Green. Um, so Robert took really good care of this jacket um, when they were working there. And uh, yeah, it's a super nice green jacket. Really nice to throw like a little sweater on underneath and you'll be super cozy with all this wool. All right, and the last one, um, you guys know if you've been watching me, I love my Carhartt Santa Fe jackets. So, uh, you know, I have quite a few of them and there's no reason for me to show all of them um, in this video, but I'll be wearing all of them throughout these next few months. But uh, I really like this red one. It's got a nice quilted, um, super warm lining on the inside. And uh, it does fit me kind of like tight and cropped, but I can get a hoodie in there underneath. So maybe as I wear this a little more, it'll kind of stretch out a bit. But yeah, I like this red one. Nice, uh, nice fit, nice color, and uh, super warm. Just a really nice classic jacket that um, you guys should try to find on eBay if you can. Yeah, I just want to go over some of the jackets I'm going to be wearing over the next few months when it gets a little bit cool, colder. Um, it also just gives people ideas that they can look for on eBay to try to find similar jackets or the same jacket even. I always think it's really cool to get jackets like these that are kind of like, I don't know, not necessarily one of one, but you don't really see that many people wearing styles like this, I'd say. It's always cool to get a jacket that's a little bit different from uh, the yeah, normal, from a normal jacket that you see outside. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought some of the jackets that I have in my collection right now are pretty sweet. I think I'll do another video soon of just some like more expensive pieces that I enjoy in my uh, closet and some cheaper pieces that I enjoy in my closet. I do think the range of like prices of things that I have is pretty substantial and there's a lot of more affordable clothing that I wear as well. Um, it's just that sometimes you like getting something that's more expensive and uh, yeah, that's just how the game goes. 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. And uh, I do put out videos fairly consistently, I'd say. I could definitely be more consistent with it. But it's just hard to find the time, as I've always been saying. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.